Like we've been saying for the last two months now, but we need to publicly state it on the record. Hey, so you think Hillary's gonna run? In so we've said it a lot in the last couple of months, just jokingly, but I want to be on the record right here all for all of the internet to see. Do you got a good face? I'm too tall. Hillary Clinton's gonna be the Democratic nominee. She's, oh, without a doubt. Yeah. I mean, they're already dropping like flies. We're wasting our time right now. Kamala Beto, Harris is dropping out because... Beta dropped out. Beta dropped out. Kamala Harris says the Democrats aren't ready for, you know, a woman of color to Something be their so nominee. Important. Joe Biden's talking to the wall. Dude, <laughs> that was the best He's just out here just, look. Just Maybe, now. oh, hey, we uh, special guest today. We got Joe Biden to stop by our podcast. You know, this is, this is just, this is, you know, it's everyone else's fault. On top of that... Her campaign chair says that he's held to a ridiculously high standard. No, dude, just know where the audience is and talk in that direction. That's not a very high standard. Who else is running? Mayor Pete? Pete. Pete Butt Stuff? Pete Butt. Pete up the butt. Pete up the butt. And then, uh... It's, it's 2019, get with it. That's pretty much it, right? I'm trying to think. Yes, about. okay, so obviously Hillary's going to get the nomination. Yes. But Without having to go through all of the being torn. See, the reason she's skipping the primaries is so that she doesn't have to get torn down by all the other Democrats throughout the whole process. Because if she's not even on the stage, how are, why are they going to bring her up and say, well, she doesn't have this, she doesn't have that. I guess right. Elizabeth Warren's still there Do somehow. People, people like Elizabeth Warren. How? Who? My liberal friends love Elizabeth Warren. They're self-admitted radicals, which is bizarre. But they love Elizabeth She's so milk toast boring. Yeah. Editing that out. She's out here having to beg people to go get a beer with her. Yeah. Did you see that campaign, that advertising campaign she was running? Get a beer or whatever with Warren? Or whatever. Or whatever you want. You know, some tea. Um, okay. I predict it, it will be Hil Hillary will get the nomination. But at the same time, I think there's, there's a possibility for a wild card entry of Michelle Obama. Whoa, what if we had a Hillary Michelle power play card coming in? Is, could that happen? I'm not willing to go on the record and say that, but I am going to say that Hillary Clinton is going to be the nominee. No, that, that won't happen because Clinton won't give up the presidency to another Obama. Ain't that the truth? Yeah, she got screwed twice. Yeah, there's some bad vibes, but I think I think the pride, I think the Obama pride is there to go for it to have have Michelle right. Although let's segue into conspiracy world, world, Obama is appearing quite a bit, quite frequently in public without his wedding band. Oh yeah, and he's been you know the first few times he was caught doing that, they said oh well you know he he doesn't want his. Uh, ring to get little, stolen when he's shaking people's hands. Now, I don't know about you, Brandon. How do you shake a hand? Do you go in left-handed? Now, now when I'm shaking hands, like solid right you tell me, shake. if I got my wedding ring on, you got your wedding ring on, how in the hell am I going to get that off of your finger? How am I going to steal that from you? I don't, well, I'm just a uh, man of the people. I go in both hands. Ah, just you're just shake, starting just less than and yeah, just just feeling up on all over people. And so, over the top. No, okay? Like, come on. All right? We yeah. see right there. They can post as many Instagram pictures that they want of, of you know, their quotes and, oh my gosh, of, you know, of her uh, spooning him, you know, because she's always the big spoon, you know, with her big muscly arms and huge broad shoulders, you know, all over them, all right? Like, yeah. no, come on, we see right through this BS, all right? They're basically put together by the media. Like, yeah, just like some other power couple we know. God, we're going to get kicked off the internet. Did you see where uh, Hillary had the audacity to call Trump and Melania Ahab and Jezebel. She did? She did. It was at, at, cut at, um, was her girlfriend at Eli, with her? At Eli Cummings' um, oh. funeral. She used her, she wow. used, she used her platform to, to talk about, to, to call Trump and Melania Ahab and Jezebel. I'm glad we, because Eli, she referenced Elijah being the Old Testament prophet. Well, that makes me want to gouge my own eyes out. Really, it just makes me want to rip my throat out every time I hear the Clintons talk about the Bible or talk about God and like, because it's not, it, it's what I imagine like Satan talking about God or Jesus sounds like. Like, what even the devil knows him by name. Like, yeah, 
so it's like pretty much anytime like they're talking about biblical stories or anything that you know is prophecy it's always just like oh you got demons now talking about like the bible and stuff at least they acknowledge that it's you know a real thing yeah yeah it's pretty messed up um but yeah uh i could say some other things but then we could really get kicked off the internet it's, it's just like i just don't want people think i'm crazy yet yeah yeah, yeah. all right well it's a good talk to you that's just a little taste yeah. a little taste for now Stay tuned. It's a good talk. All right.